Hey, what it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ, and today we back in the confessional, man. Yes, we right in front of the trusty 96 Camaro. That means it's about to go down. Yes, and if you can see by the title of this video, it's some real talk. We ain't talking prison, we talking gangs. And listen here, gangs ain't shit. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you, let's get, make, before y'all get all into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Share this out to your homeboy. I'm gonna tell y'all why gangs ain't shit, man. I learned at a young age that gang, gangs ain't shit. Man, we started gang banging as kids. And to hear that a 40-year-old guy is on Clubhouse arguing with a 23-year-old guy over gang shit is disturbing. It's seriously disturbing. I mean, it's, disturb it's disturbing to a whole nother level. It's so disturbing that how can, how can we just sit here and listen to this shit? How can we listen to this? Seriously, is it this important to find out if this man got jumped on? And that brings me to a story, man, about my friend, man. I lost a friend at 19 years old to gang violence. And this gang violence is not two different gangs at a war with each other. This is gang violence within our own gang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, within our own gang, my friend, rest in peace, Big Fish, was murdered by supposed to be one of our homies, big homies. He's supposed to be one of the big homies. And this is the reason why I bring this conversation up is because this changed my life. I'm looking at like this dude on Roddy Rich is supposed to be somewhat of a big homie, but he got that crab in the barrel mentality that want to bring a homie down for whatever reason. It don't even matter. But I'm going to speak on some truth shit and I don't care. It, it's, it's in the past, but it's the truth. And if anybody know my homeboy, Big Fish was wrecking shit in the city. He was the hardest nigga out there. I remember we was like 16 years old. If y'all remember them strongman competitions, he was knocking grown men out in a strongman competition. Grown men at 16 years old. Now, I'm a, that's why we call him Big Fish. He was in a small pond. And, uh, you know, we used to we used to roll in clicks and shit, and then it still went from clicks to gangs, and a lot of gang violence, and the gang that we used to ride with, uh, we kinda, we got, we kinda got put on by being around the homies' uncles was OGs and everything. We was always in the hood. And at the time, that didn't matter. Me, 37-year-old PJ looking back like, nigga. But young PJ, nigga, it didn't matter. We was down. We was riding for the hood. You know what I'm saying? So it came to a point where one day, you know, they was politicking in the hood. And some people was like, Oh, they didn't get put on. They didn't this. They didn't that. And my homeboy was like, shit, y'all want to try to put me on? Come on. No, none. Everybody who was talking that shit didn't step up. So they had one of the big homies step up because this is the only person that could fight this nigga. I'm talking about Big Fish was a big dude. And he, he was 19 at this time. So listen, we 19 years old. This changed my life. This changed my life. I, after, I mean, it, it made you think about gangbang. Like, damn, is this worth it? We was driving to my homie's funeral. Like, damn, is this worth it, nigga? So anyway, back to the story. So then, the homie, the big, the big OG, called called my homie out to the yard. My homie. Poo -poo -pop -pop. Put the hands on them. And, uh, you know, there are some stories going around about people that said what and this was said and that was said and whatever. But uh, what was really said was, hey, man, 
if you gonna fight him, don't fight him heads up. He gonna kick your ass. So that's what this dude did. He didn't fight the homie heads up. He stabbed my homie several times. My homie knocked dude out, but he stabbed my homie. My homie got up, he was like, fuck. And then he was getting to his car. He was driving on the way to the hospital and he collapsed. My friend had a two day, three day old kid just born. He, his last picture with his kid was his daughter, two days old, on his chest, and he's all hooked up, monitors, and that, man, this made me, this, this, uh, yeah. So I don't believe in that gang shit no more. At that point, I, I was still in it, but I, I realized you don't got no real homies in your gang. And that right rich nigga, that, that just shows you the old people, older folks in your gang don't even like the younger folks because they think they coming up more than the probably the young people, the older people in the hood right now see the young dudes getting money, driving Cadillacs, driving cars, and don't have to sell drugs. They probably hating on them niggas. Cause that's what people do. That's what that gang mentality shit do. You just hate niggas for no reason. You hate your own homies for no fucking reason. So that's a true story. And I want y'all to understand this rivalry shit is some bullshit. I can't believe we actually entertaining this shit. Cause when real shit like what happened to my homie Big Fish happened, none of y'all niggas want to be solid at that point. Everybody switched from that point on everybody switched the hood wasn't the same not for my homies he shout out to big fish and rest in heaven my nigga he had a good life ahead of thank y'all for watching everyday people i holla at you <laughs>